The term head refers to the height, or vertical length, of a column of liquid. That generates a pressure P at its base. Pressure and head are directly related by this equation. The pressure in pascals, which is equal to newtons per meter squared, is equal to the density of the liquid in kilograms per meters cubed times the gravitational acceleration, which is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared at sea level, times the height of the column of liquid in meters. The equation can be rearranged to be the head at any given point is equal to the pressure at that point divided by rho times g. Liquids are nearly incompressible. Therefore rho is practically constant. For all practical earthbound applications g is constant too. This means that rho times g is constant. And therefore the head h and pressure p are practically the same quantity and can be used interchangeably since they are related by a simple constant. But usually we use the term head, when we talk about the pressure at a given point because it can be easily measured using a tape measure, recall that head is a length. The head as shown in this figure, is referred to as the static head, because the average fluid velocity in the liquid column is zero. In a later section we will learn about dynamic head, where the average fluid velocity is not zero, i.e., the liquid is flowing. Pressure is usually expressed in terms of pascals, which is equal to newtons per meter squared. The pressure is also sometimes expressed in units of atmosphere or bar. To convert the pressure value from units of pascal to atmosphere or bar, divide by 101,000. And conversely, to convert the pressure value from units of atmosphere or bar to units of pascal, multiply by 101,000. In English units, the pressure is given in units of pounds per square inches, which is usually pronounced PSI. To convert from units of Pascal to units of PSI, multiply by 0.000145. And conversely, to convert from units of PSI to units of Pascal, multiply by 6894.757. A pump increases the pressure and kinetic energy of the fluid that it is pumping. The total head added to the fluid by the pump, is the summation of the static head generated by the pump, that was discussed previously. And the head associated with the kinetic energy that is added to the flow. This is called the total dynamic head of the pump, or TDH. Next we will discuss TDH for a pump that is connected to pipes with uniform cross-section, as well as pipes with variable cross-section. Take for example, a pump which connects two pipes which have the same cross section and are at the same elevation. Since the inlet and outlet cross sections are the same, the velocity flow into the pump is equal to the velocity flow out of the pump, according to the continuity equation that was discussed previously. In this case, since there is no change in the kinetic energy of the flow, the total dynamic head of the pump is equal to the static head difference between the outlet and the inlet. Hence TDH is equal to the static head at the outlet minus the static head at the inlet. This can also be expressed in terms of the pressures at the inlet and the outlet. For a more general situation where a pump connects pipes with variable cross sections and elevations, you must use Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli's equation is a simplified form of the energy equation. According to Bernoulli's equation, the fluid's energy before it enters the pump, plus the energy added to the fluid by the pump, which is expressed as the TDH of the pump, is equal to the total energy of the fluid exiting the pump. This equation can be rearranged to give the total dynamic head. Note that for this equation, we need to know the inlet pressure, outlet pressure, inlet fluid velocity, outlet fluid velocity, height position of the inlet, and height position of the outlet.